So we know that in comparison to no limit, the equities run much closer together in PLO. But just how much closer are they? Well, for example, if you take one of the most premium starting hands, ace-ace, jack-10, double-suited, and match it up against any other random hand, it only has 71% equity preflop. Now, this might not seem like a big difference than in No Limit, where aces are about an 85% favorite against a random hand, but something that's important to point out is that the quick fact is comparing the equity of ace-ace, jack-10, double-suited against all hands. Nearly every preflop matchup between good hands is actually much closer to the 55 range, which obviously makes a huge difference in the long run. So by now you might be thinking, okay, that's good to know I guess, but why does that matter? Or how can I use this info to make me money? See, even though starting hands in PLO are all technically close if you run them heads up against each other, there's a big difference between the types of hands that scoop big pots and the ones that get you into trouble in multi-way pots. We're going to cover this throughout the lesson. But the gist of it is that since you'll rarely get all-in preflop with 100 big blind stacks, the playability of a hand matters a lot more than what the preflop equity is, especially as the stacks get deeper, which means that the bets on later streets are much bigger than the bets preflop are. Or, simply put, preflop is just the foreplay that leads to where the real action happens.